Hey folks, Bjorn here with another quarantine cooking challenge. Today's challenge has been sent by Mary from Healesville. And Mary says, Bet you can't use edible weeds you foraged in your garden to make a delicious quarantine soup. Well, Mary, Mary, quite contrary, you're going to be eating your words and my forage soup as well, because challenge accepted. Foraging is a relatively new phenomenon that was invented as a way of coping with recent food shortages. Who knew we had a reason to thank coronavirus? Now, before all your internet experts jump in and say, Bjorn, don't eat filthy weeds, you flog. Almost all weeds are edible. They're fine, they're safe, and they're free. So go crazy. I haven't decided which soup I'm going to make, so I'm going to taste a couple of weeds to decide what flavour profile I'm after. It's nice, it's got a, quite a metallic taste to it. I know, that's blood. Yep. <coughs> oh, fuck. Pro tip, remember to wear gloves. <laughs> ah! Fuck! Oh, yes! This is what I'm talking about. I don't know what type of weed this is, but it smells like business. So let's give it a go. Yeah, this is the one. Okay, so I've harvested my greens, so I'm gonna go to the kitchen and crack on with my soup. Okay, so we're gonna use some chopped onions, potatoes, garlic, and some garlic and stock. Excuse me. <clears throat> Wow, it smells like fussy cut grass. <clears throat> Delicious! <clears throat> Finally diced it. <coughs> Finally diced it. <coughs> <coughs> and put them in a pot with a bit of oil. Sweat your onions and garlic before adding the potatoes. Once you see the potatoes soften slightly, add your edible weeds. Stir everything together before adding your stock. This is a great pick-me-up soup, perfect for these difficult times in lockdown. I could do with a bit of a pick-me-up, so I'm going to tuck in right away. Mmm! Edible wheat soup! Suck on that man from Hillsville! In your face! Back to you, Ray Martin. 